I'm Wayne West of the West Group Realtors, and this is my dog, Baker West. And today we're going to take you through some of my favorite neighborhoods of Southeast Jefferson County in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Southeast Jefferson County, these neighborhoods are about 13 miles from downtown. And today we're going to start in beautiful Saratoga Woods. Uh, you've got two sections, Saratoga Woods and Saratoga Estates. The estate section is just a little bit bigger lots, thus bigger homes. Most of the homes in this neighborhood are going to sell in between 300 up to the higher 400,000s. Uh, you're going to get uh, all brick homes with multiple floor plans. You're going to get the two-story homes. You're going to get the single-family ranches that have walkout basements. Um, and then, of course, you're going to have the what I call the, the Louisville floor plan, which is a one-and-a-half story with the first floor master and the other bedrooms upstairs. Um, Pretty much in the front section, you may have some homes that don't have basements, but as you get into the estate section, what you're gonna find is most do have basements, um, walkouts, and just regular uh, finished basements. Some of the things that I love about these neighborhoods in Southeast Jefferson County are the availability to uh, a lot of the amenities that the city of J-Town has. So the city of J-Town has a large industrial park, thus they have a large amount or a lot of tax dollars. So what that means is they have a beautiful Little League park, a beautiful Little League system. They have uh, basketball court gyms that the kids play in. Um, and then you also have a, a lot of things that you can take advantage of, like you're within walking distance to Vetner Park, less than a mile. And Vetner Park has, you know, 16 pickleball courts. You got tennis courts. You got a disc golf course. You've got uh, basketball courts. I mean, it's just a beautiful park, a huge playground for kids. Um, so you can go and do that. But one of the other aspects that I like about Saratoga Woods is it has its own pool. Um, so in the, in the summers, you'll find that the kids will ride their bikes to the pool, spend the day there, come back uh, on their bikes. Uh, I love that about this neighborhood. Um, you've got easy accessibility to the Gene Snyder Freeway, as well as to 64 through the Blank and Baker access. There's a lot to love about this neighborhood. Uh, your, your square footage, in here, just so you know, is going to be anywhere from probably 1,400 square foot above grade in the front end to probably 22, 2,400 square foot in the estate section. And like I said, you're going to start in the low 300s, push up into the higher 400s as you move back into the estates. So Baker and I have made our way over to the club and pool house of Saratoga Woods. When Thieneman started building this neighborhood in the early 90s, uh, you had the first section. By the time they were finished, we've got over 660 homes in Saratoga Woods. Um, as I said, one of my favorite features is in the summers, the kids can all ride their bikes over to the pool. As you can see, you've got a huge Olympic-sized pool with multiple diving boards. There's a kid pool over to the side. The clubhouse can hold up to 100 people. Uh, if you have events that you want to do, family events, uh, social events, you can do that. Um, some of the highlights of this neighborhood are you're going to have uh, a lot of things that are done around the clubhouse like bringing Santa in for the kids and Christmas and Halloween is a huge event. Uh, the very first year that I ever was associated with Saratoga Woods, I, there were churches that were busting in kids. Uh, there was so much candy given out, it was ridiculous. There's a huge neighborhood yard sale. There's just a lot of social events in the summer, the pool being kind of a big place for everyone to get together. Um, it's really a great neighborhood. Like I said, you're going to go anywhere from 300,000 upwards to the upper 400,000. You're going to get probably 1,400 to 2,200 square feet above grade, and then you've got your basements. All brick, Southeast Jefferson County, close to everything. The next neighborhood we're going through in Southeast Jefferson County is Pine Valley Estates. Uh, again, located in the Southeast part. It's uh, a neighborhood that was developed in the early 2000s um, and it's going to be a price range of anywhere from $400,000 to $600,000. What you're going to find is homes that are in the square footage of anywhere from probably $1,800 up to probably $2,400 square foot above grade. Uh, most of these homes have walkout basements or fallout lots. Um, Pine Valley got its name because it sits in between two uh, different uh, pine tree kind of ranges. So you got one on each side. Um, one of the things that I like about this neighborhood is it's actually split in two by Razor Creek. And Razor Creek is a, is a great creek for 
a lot of wildlife, you'll get, you know, some small fish, you'll get some frogs. It's a big deer watering hole. So you're going to find a lot of deer uh, kind of as you're going through the neighborhood. Um, again, the floor plans you're going to see here, you're going to see ranches. You're going to see traditional two stories. You're going to see one and a half stories, or like I like to call it the Louisville floor plan. Um, lots of different opportunities. And again, these homes were built kind of in the early 2000s. Um, some things that, that I enjoy is you're close to Vetner Park. You're probably two miles away. Um, and then also you've got attached to that is Vetner Golf Course, which is an 18-hole public golf course um, that you can easily get to. Um, the accessibility here from Southeast Jefferson County is terrific. Uh, you've got the Gene Snyder a couple miles. You've got uh, the Blanket Baker access to 64. So you can get just about anywhere in Louisville in about 20 minutes. Um, I will tell you some other things that I like is you're close to the city of J-Town. So there's plenty of grocery, there's plenty of shopping, plenty of retail, uh, plenty of things to do. Um, obviously, you got sidewalks where you can walk your dogs. Just a lot of, of good things that that you don't necessarily see everywhere else. Um, it's a neighborhood that I will tell you uh, sells not a whole lot because people enjoy it so much. So getting in here is very competitive. Um, so I will tell you that, you know, if, if it is an area that you're interested in, call me, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll find a home for you. We are in Vetner Park in Southeast Jefferson County. Uh, if you are relocating to Louisville or not familiar with it, um, the park system in Louisville is very, very world renowned, honestly. Um, there are over 120 parks, 13,000 acres of land, and within these parks, there's opportunities for all kinds of things. Uh, here at Bettner Park, you'll see you've got 12 brand new pickleball courts, you've got a playground for the kids as we kind of walk over here and scan. You'll see a brand new basketball court, um, as well as lighted tennis courts down here in the far end. Uh, there is uh, two dog parks back behind the pickleball courts. Um, there's even a disc golf uh, course. This park has a huge middle school uh, cross country event uh, every year. I think it may be the largest in Louisville where you know hundreds of kids will come in and run. Um, within walking distance, you've got Vetner Golf Course, which is an 18 hole public course. Um, just a beautiful, uh, beautiful area. Um, lots of people in Louisville really have started taking advantage of the parks, especially after COVID. Uh, people are realizing to get out and, uh, and see what's there. Um, lots of different parks with hiking trails. You've got water parks. Uh, you've got parks such as Tom Sawyer that has dirt bike courses and softball fields. And you're just going to see lots of people in lots of action in our park system. Uh, for questions about Louisville, feel free to reach out to me, 502-376-4106, Wayne West of the West Group Realtors.